Madden NFL 2019. Seems like the biggest thing, right? That's coming out kind of sort of this week, kind of sort of next week. Yeah, I think it's like a, the origin early access for PC users is on the 2nd, but then it doesn't come out, you know, fully for everybody until the 10th. Uh, and it's coming out on PC for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Which is exciting. Yeah. Uh, how is it this year? Uh, the game overall is good. I mean, it's, you're going to recognize a lot of it. You know, you'll see some new animations. Some um, There's definitely new stuff in there. I'm not to say that, but like in terms of, I think what, you know, really the positives that work for me is it's still about, you know, having fun with the gameplay and whatnot. And, you know, we can go into the other stuff, but it's, you know, it's not miles ahead of, of, of last year's. Okay. You know, that's, on that's par at question, least. But yeah, it's definitely on par and it's definitely, you know, going places. Yeah. Have you been playing Two Birds? Yeah, a little bit here and there. What I do dug into the franchise mode, which I'm not as much of a fan of. Um, they're kind of changing some stuff and the systems that they're building that are based around team schemes and how you upgrade your players I, I think it's a little messy it's not really well thought out it doesn't really match what's going on in the actual nfl so that kind of stuff is bugging me as like a sim franchise mode guy okay yeah hey kind of just uh, out of curiosity what was the first madden game you reviewed for game informer <laughs> review yeah um, just to give this a legacy here i think it's fascinating you know how and i reviewed them for like 10 years really it would have yeah. been i mean 2000 probably would have been the first opportunity, but I don't know if the late great Paul Anderson was doing it at that time. So okay. maybe it might have been 2001. But in that ballpark, that's crazy. Madden yeah. 2000 was the last Madden game that I played. That ludicrous <laughs> intro is fucking awesome. And I picked up. Obviously. Uh, yeah, I've been playing the new one on PC then because mm -hmm. uh, I hear I heard such good things about the long shot mode. Mm -hmm. There's like the story Ugh, mode, which no. started last year. Is no. that is that I liked right? It. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Uh, I played this one and I beat it last night. I really enjoyed it too. Oh. Does everyone just hate that? Like sports fanatics hate uh, that mode? I, I don't, you know, I can't speak for Burt's. Um, I, I don't hate awful. it. I like really? it. I like yeah. going through it. I mean, I think it's somewhat lowered expectations in the sense that I think the performance is good. You know, yeah. Scott Porter and uh, Scotty P. Yeah, the, the performances are good. And I yeah. think the writing's yeah. solid. Like, honestly, as far as video game yeah. writing goes, this is well above par. This has Honestly, better writing than the first season of Life is Strange for like a lot of those scenes. I swear to God, man, it's like these are believable Email performances. To ban at Game and Have account. at it! Wow, man. not saying yeah. Captain Spirit. That's a league above. I'm saying original Life is I'll Strange. I'll say season the one. gameplay is a little weird where it's you're awful. using like the force to move the ball yeah, through the air awful. in slow yeah. motion, which they've they've Wait, taken what? out this year. This okay, year, good. yeah, this year it's all about just regular. You know, regular Madden gameplay. Which yeah. I don't know what you thought of that from, you know. It was really year. bizarre because I jumped in. It's like, all right, you're telling the characters, uh, it's telling the stories of uh, Devin and Colt here. It didn't really do a great job of catching me up to speed. So I don't know if people interested in this type of story mode in Madden, which I think there's that audience that want more of like that Madden story RPG type experience. Yes. But I probably regret not going back and playing last year's long shot because it jumps you in with these two characters and it's like they aren't connected and I don't know who these people are. Like, they do some live action set up in the beginning to say something about there was a reality show called Long Shot, but that was in the past. And it's like, I don't know what's happening. And not to spoil anything, eventually stories get a little more intertwined, but it kind of throws you in. Beyond that, throwing me in on the gameplay side, having not played a Madden game in 18 fucking years, like, jumping into this thing, it'll give you, like, one prompt on the screen. of like, don't forget about this. And then when they do, when they blitz this way, you gotta hit you know the right stick and then change your play this way it's like what and you gotta get your nose in the playbook man come on well no, i would love to i would love to even know what the controls are but when you're playing long shot mode if you pause it there's no options even to look at the controls no hints in there whatsoever so it was just like grinding play after play of please try again please try again please try again <laughs> i would lose over and over again it would take like 10 tries just to progress to the next story beat which i was genuinely really enjoying just because the gameplay was just kicking my ass <laughs> You the, guys the didn't have that, that problem, I'd imagine? No, not at all. Okay. Um, but ah. the thing that drives me nuts about it is like, I like a mode, like you mentioned RPG. I yeah. want choice. I want to have like say over how my character develops, the kinds of things that he says and does. Totally. That's interesting to me. Just watching a, a movie with some good acting that with an implausible, ridiculous story doesn't do shit for me. Right, yeah. right. Although I what, like sports movies. They all do I the do same too, thing. I do too, but not this like, oh, you're going to do a game show to see if Guy, you can make it. got a baseball NFL. bat from a tree that was struck by lightning. and you <laughs> know? That's what I want. I'm totally with you. And there is like <laughs> one branching decision, it seems, choice at the end of this long shot mode, which one. is one. I don't even know what it meant or what was yeah. it was referring to. I won't spoil anything, but maybe for like next year's long shot mode, if they continue the storyline, they'll pick it up again. But what if I told you, Reiner, 
that Rob Schneider is in this one. <laughs> he yes! Plays, he plays the general manager and he it is He finally made it. He finally made it. It comes up on the screen. It's like, that can't possibly be Rob <laughs> Schneider in the Madden. Rob Schneider. I knew he had a Madden in him. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> he has a lot of good jokes about water bottles in this thing. He's yeah. got it all. The real cover star of Madden. How many calls team. do you think they made to like agents and actors? Like, <laughs> can you do? No. All that's left is right. Rob Schneider. Just like, like the Happy oh, Madison man. crew alone. It's like, all right, let's just go down this list. Steve Zahn passed on it. Uh, did you enjoy Longshot? Huh? Yeah. I mean, I was a little disappointed. I mean, you know, like you said, just sitting back and watching it, okay, you know, I can be fine with that. But certainly, you know, critically, I wanted it to be more about more NFL. You know, bringing sure. the NFL again is a problem that they have with that mode. And, you know, it's FIFA's The Journey mode has a similar thing where they try to bring in that flavor of the league, but it doesn't really work out. Um, and so that and like the thing we were talking about with the choice, I mean, right. it's, it's no spoiler to say that choice isn't really a factor in, in when you're playing this, even less so than in, in last year. And I was thinking they would go a step forward with the choice, but instead they just decided, you know, they must decide it didn't work at all. So we're just scrapping it. I don't understand why they can't have it be somewhat, somewhat adaptive. Like they'll have you do a couple plays from like the first quarter of this NFL game and then if you don't make a touchdown, it just says, please try again. Where it's like, it's not dependent on the story that I make a touchdown in this sequence. Like, just let it roll. Colony Wars, back on PlayStation 1, you could lose a mission. It would yeah. keep going through yeah. the story, you know? Exactly. That's fun. It seems like it's capable of that, but they just do not let you do it. And especially towards the end, during this big game where it's like, all right, you're starting at the 20-yard line. You have to get all the way down there. You got to make that touchdown. And you just have to go quarter by quarter all the way through. It's like, this is the grand finale for this thing? <laughs> it's kind of lame. Still, acting and performances and the storyline I was surprisingly invested in. That's I really enjoy that. One story. of 20 modes, so we got 19 more to go. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. Uh, everything else, big changes we should know about this time around? Um, for ultimate team players, I think they're really going to like... Um, there's a thing that was in FIFA's last year. It was um, like solo battle, or it's called like squad battles or something. Basically, it's a way to you know make coins in um, the early part of it because you basically play games against the CPU and however you rank against those teams which are based on real players teams you know so if there's some guy you know like Madden 1 2 3 has got a really good team they'll put that in this uh, solo battles mode you play it by yourself and then however you rank at the end of the week you can play like 13 games however you rank at the end of that week gets you a a, a coin and packed payout so in other words, it's just another of the many ways that you can earn coins. You know, because people always want to instead do of buying. Yeah, I don't want to okay. pay money. I don't want to pay money. Well, I mean, like Madden's one of the best out there for weaving and putting together a different different ways to make coins. So That's you good don't to hear. Have to spend real money. Right, right. And uh, your reviews on the site by now? Yes, it is. Okay, feeling good about it overall. Yeah, yeah. Solid Madden this year. Are you the game or my review? <laughs> that, I guess the game. Just, uh, Let's go with the game. Extent. The game, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's, it's a solid Madden game. Again, I don't think it's going to blow your socks off, but I think, you know, uh, Ultimate Team players are in particular going to like, I think, the solo battles. I think, you know, franchise, I am very interested to see how people, how that shakes out for people. Because I'm with Burt's, like, the taking away the control is not something I'm really into. At the end of the day, I think your players are still going to end up progressing similar, but then again, it goes to the point of like, why am I jumping through these new hoops? Um, but it, it's still a solid game because it, you know, you just, you play it and it's like, there's some great mad moments in there. You know? Yeah, for sure. That was just a clip from a larger show called the Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us.